in an attempt to build uh, the most efficient um, thermal power plant that I could, I built out a, uh, a radiator network similar to this one. I have it enclosed right now so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't bleed any energy off. And I just have a, a little filling station over here uh, to dump as much X gas in here. Now, in the process of, of building it, I found several problems that have been creeping up uh, since the beginning of my experiments in stationaires. Uh, the first one I found with water. Um, I tend to build these enormous uh, structures like this. This is not super enormous, but I had one uh, for the uh, for the first station that was uh, based on water, and it was like ten times this size, and it didn't work. Um, I got errors when I was building it, and I thought it was something wrong with the way that the game handles water. But then um, I found it with gas, and I think I've discovered why. So if I bring up the save here, uh, we'll see. Let's just move this to the center. You can see that this is the uh, atmospheric data for this network here. So uh, this network is called um, 1119. And if we go back into the save game, we can see that it is um, 1119. <clears throat> and the information that it has on it, it's got a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of carbon dioxide, lots of chlorine. And then here is the energy level um, in the pipe. Now the energy level is for the entire system. It's not how energetic each mole of gas is. Uh, if it was in the energy level for each mole of gas, this this would be um, way too high. This would be like, you know, hundreds of nuclear bombs going off all at once kind of high. The other thing that I found that was really interesting is that chlorine is listed. Chlorine is gas X. Uh, now, what I believe uh, is volatiles are not hydrogen. Uh, they're actually um, uh, chloromethane, which is uh, a hydrogen. It's a hydrocarbon with a uh, chlorine attached to it. So the chlorine is, I think it's in the middle. I think there's there's three chlorine atoms. And then there's one hydrogen. I don't know. I'd have to look it up again. But I, I think it's it's uh, chloromethane. And that's... That's why we get the constituents. The, there should be water being spit out. And I think there probably was water being produced before the last update. But because they changed water being a vapor into uh, into a, a, a liquid, uh, they may have pulled that out. I don't know what it was like beforehand. But the energy level is important. As you can see here, um, we're at the ninth power energy level. Okay, And that's important because... As soon as it rolls over 10, we'll start having difficulties. Right now we're, we're at half 10, but that's fine for now. Oh, I need to get this back uh, on the game. So <clears throat> you can see that everything seems to be functioning um, properly here. Let's turn, turn the gas off for a sec here. And then what I'll do is I will destroy these connectors here. So uh, we'll destroy this connector. We might get an error. No. And then we'll build a pipe. So now when we build this pipe, this network over here and this network over here will be joined. And these the, the left side includes these storage tanks. So they're they're just mirrors of each other. And then as soon as I build this, we should get an error almost immediately. I might have to remove it to get the error. No, we don't have to remove it to get the error. So now we have 2 million um, moles in here. 
So now we're going to save the game. Okay, it's saved. And what's the network called now? It's called 19. Uh, what was it before? It was 19. Okay, so it may not have did not joined the network. What did join the network? Okay, there you go. So it's just taking a really long time to to load the save now in uh, network or uh, Notepad plus plus. Find the network. Okay, so now when we look, we have an energy level of e to the 10. So uh, the 10th power, and we have 2 million moles of chlorine in here. Now if I exit, now that we've uh, logged in, suddenly we've lost a huge amount of um, of gas. We're, we're suddenly down to uh, 4.89 megapascals and 615 um, uh, kilomoles of chlorine. So we're going to save the game again. Save it as test one. There we go. And then we'll load up test one on... Um, and it's frozen once again, which is uh, normal for this thing. So we see here that it's it's dumped back down to um, the ninth power, and I and that is be and I think that's because um, the way the game is set up, it can't deal with. Uh, 10th power numbers. So when you have something to the power of, let's say, 9, that will mean it has, it has 9 zeros behind it. So um, e to the power of 9 is 10 to the power of, of 9. So it'd be, it would be uh, 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Or is that one too many? That's one too many. Because uh, the first, yeah, the first power is the first is the actual um, zero on the 10. Anyways, um, so once you get over the 10th power, you're done. But if I come back here, so we are separated from, from this network over here, which would add uh, more uh, molecules to the, uh, to the mix here. But... If I go back to the save file, uh, and instead of changing energy, I change how much chlorine is in there. I double the amount of chlorine. Now, note that the temperature right now is minus 38 degrees Celsius. So if I exit and go back in, you'll see that I've increased the number of... Um, uh, the amount of chlorine in there, it's not the amount that it should be. It should be um, uh, 1.2 uh, million moles, but it's it's only uh, 1.0. Uh, and the temperature has dropped to 134 uh, degrees Celsius. Now, I think this is, this is because of how the game treats thermal energy... Um, in relation to how much um, how much gas is in this network, um, which is why I also think that it overflows once the energy level gets high enough, because um, the the way that it's calculating these numbers isn't exactly intuitive, nor are they separate. They're they're combining into one um, unified variable in some way. I don't know what it's doing. Um, under the under the hood, uh, inside the black box, but uh, the way that it's it's uh, determining things like uh, pressure and temperature, 
um, and everything else. Uh, so if I was to make a comparison, if you've played Oxygen Not Included, you'll see uh, um, uh, packets go through a pipe network. And each pipe segment can hold one packet. And the packet, when the packet and the, and the segment occupy the same space, um, that's where the calculation occurs. And that packet will have certain attributes to it. But each segment has one packet. In this game, it is not calculated that way. The entire network holds one packet that has attributes to it. So um, the entire network is treated like a storage tank. We all knew that. If you played the game, you know that. But the, the gas in it is treated... Um, It was kind of weird because it's, it's it's not really how matter works in real life. Um, energy uh, would be attributed to each individual atom, and you can you know um, increase the the the, the number of calculations. Well, you can decrease the number of calculations you'd have to uh, you'd have to make by saying it's per mole, but you don't even have to do it that way. You can just have it summarized so that this pipe here has a million moles in it and then you can say that each mole has a certain energy level instead what they're saying is that the 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 entire system as a whole has a specific energy level which then limits how much energy the system can um, effectively handle at once because you have an overflow you have the power of 10 as the overflow so if you stuff these pipes as full as you can and try to radiate the heat out into um, into space you can't do that because you have gone you have gone over the maximum value and um, because it's not giving an error it's just simply giving up or skipping over the errors if you know anything about programming, you know that you can you can say that on a certain type of error, do nothing. So this is probably what's happening. It's saying on this variable's overflow, do nothing. Uh, but when you load the saved game and it's interpolating the data, it resets or it rolls over or it does something to cause um, the uh, the loss of of gas and energy out of the system. But in this state, error, do nothing, it won't cool, it won't do anything, it'll just sit there. And the exact same thing occurs with water. But because water is so much denser, the energy level is much, much higher. And because it's higher, it'll start overflowing m much sooner. So, um, how do you solve this? Uh, it's rather easy to solve it. You just that sh this should give an error. Oh, it didn't give an error. Oh, that's because I it I broke the uh, the pipe network already. So um, if you put a ball valve down here and you leave the valve open, we'll do it on this side too. So now this I'll take this off here. This becomes a new network. This is 1204, and this is 1203. We go over here. Same thing. This is 1203. So this network will have a much, much lower energy level in it. But it's the same total energy level. Because, because this isn't how things really work in real life, it's kind of hard to describe what it's doing. So... You have e to the e to the power of, well, close to ten. It's e to the power of nine in this whole network everywhere, and just in here you will probably have e to the power of two. But it's also like, you know, a fiftieth of the size. So fractionally, this has the same energy level as this pipe, as this network fractionally. So when you um, increase the number of these segments in total 
each fraction being added in total, you still have the same cooling capacity. It's just going to communicate through these pipes. And you only need one side. You don't need both sides. I don't know why I did both sides. Or now I do. I do know why I, I did both sides because I tried to put pumps uh, here and here and flow the the um, the gas through it because I thought uh, maybe when you had a lot of mass, it got confused. That's not the case. It's the energy level that makes the the game become confused. So the game is not designed for really big builds. It wants you to remain s small and and enclosed. And if you want to become big, then you have to make everything modular. And um, that's how that works. But the, the, the more interesting thing, I think, is this, um, this chlorine here that um, pollutant X, or yeah, that gas X is chlorine. So this uh, this would be oh, oops uh, this will be um, uh, meth uh, um, chlorine methane okay so it's got one um, molecule of carbon three molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of uh, chlorine so the to get the results that you would have in game you would need three of these molecules which will then give you uh, three, oops, three, nine, and three as an output. Um, so if we were to put in three oxygen instead of one oxygen, um, that would make some sense because you would get uh, three atoms of carbon dioxide and then nine atoms of free floating hydrogen or you would get um, um, three atoms of water with uh, three atoms of free floating carbon which you would probably never get because carbon uh, you never see carbon atoms not bonded with something um, hydrogen at least can bond to itself because these are odd numbers though um, because hydrogen wants to, to bond to something and carbon wants to bond to something, um, you would probably end up having like um, uh, a carbon dioxide, one or two carbon dioxides, and then one or two um, uh, molecules of water, and then maybe one molecule of um, chlorine uh, monoxide. I don't even know if that's a real molecule. But... That's, I think that's what they were trying to go for, is to make this, um, to make volatiles, um, uh, chloromethane. And that also makes sense because it's a really good gas to use, um, in cooling loops. Like when you're, when you're trying to, uh, when you're trying to refrigerate something, it's, it's actually an, an excellent refrigerant. So, um, it makes sense that, that they gravitated towards that in the game. But uh, that's that's basically what I found is that if your network's too too large, you'll start getting errors, and then just to get around that, just put little just put valves everywhere, and then you'll be able to make um, a huge um, a huge radiator network, and then really absorb energy or reject energy. I think it's interesting. I'm I'm not sure why more people haven't discovered this, although I didn't really, to be honest, I didn't really look very hard. It's not on the Wikipedia, and uh, uh, I didn't really look very hard in videos to see if anybody's uh, discovered this. But yeah, that's the uh, that's my discoveries.